So, yes. Welcome from sunny Eng England. It's really pretty here. Really nice. Wherever you are, I hope the sun is warming your soul, your heart. Both the inner and the outer sun. So this meditation is an opportunity to be. An opportunity just to experience presence. And for the busy parts of us, this might already sound like a kind of a torture. You mean to say I have to sit here for 40 minutes and just be? Notice if you already can hear parts thoughts, any feelings that are absolutely so not up for being here or listening to this. And as usual, we don't resist the resistance. So See if you can imagine rolling out a welcome mat. For the parts. They really struggle with presence. And there may be some other parts here that really welcome slowing down after a busy day at work. Or maybe you've only recently woken up and the mind is still feeling gentle, unencumbered by the day's activities. See if you can begin to feel as though however you are in this moment in time, wherever you are, That that is okay. It's enough. It's enough to witness it all in presence. Presence is one of the P qualities of self in the IFS model. No. Many non-dual teachings, presence is also synonymous with awareness, beingness, consciousness. And 
And presence is the thing that gets affected the most when we experience periods of trauma, pain, suffering. It's the thing that that escapes first. And then we might find ourselves trying to regain our sense of being in the present, in the here and now. And this is why Vessel van der Kolk says that really the hallmark of trauma is our inability to be present. So let's see if we can invite this P quality of self presence. And for many of us, presence doesn't seem to come easily or naturally. It seems to be something that can feel a bit alien, a bit foreign. So I'm curious, and maybe you are too, to explore what are your entry routes into presence? How do you know that you're present? Is it the breath? Is it through feeling your body on the chair, feet on the ground? And presence can be a little bit easier to notice when we're feeling relatively calm, relatively peaceful, maybe here and now. There seems to be a natural quality of presence. But how about when we're interacting with our loved ones or maybe having a heated interaction with our colleagues, work colleagues. Or maybe when we're driving Notice that presence isn't only for the meditation cushion. Presence is an essence that can be with us throughout all of our interactions, even during those heated mo moments when we're having some difficult time. with our loved ones, we can also invite presence then.
these quiet meditative moments really help us to attune and place a bit of a biomarker of what our entry route into presence is so that during those heated moments we can seamlessly, effortlessly glide into presence as a sort of a trailhead back to self. And I'd like to add here that presence isn't about rejecting or bypassing what is here. Presence is about actually being closer and more aware, more intimate with what is here. So spirituality in that way isn't so much about transcending our humanness. But rather bringing the self to the human, to the parts. So that we can navigate the world, our life, our interactions from a sense of presence. So perhaps in this moment, notice if there are any places in your body where you're holding. Or bracing or armoring. In whatever position you are in, you're always welcome to readjust your body. Give your body what it needs. Maybe you want to lie down on the floor. Maybe you need to yawn and stretch and sigh.
maybe there's some laughter or some tears. Notice how your breath is moving through your body. Any presence of tension in the shoulders, the neck, eyebrows, jaw. And let your belly be soft. And let the facial muscles relax. And see if you can surrender into sweetness. Effortless sweetness. And see if any parts are still having a difficult time with presence. See if you can bring them in closer so that they can taste this sweetness, this nectar of self. And just for this moment, can you imagine that there is nothing to solve? That 
There is no one to battle with. Just for this short, sweet period of time, just for 30 minutes, tune into this effortless, sweetness. See if for a moment you can let go of any external sounds, any noise, let it drift. See if you can slow down any internal activity as well for the moment. See if you can imagine that you need not do anything about what's happening right now. You can let yourself be spacious, laid back, even lazy. There's a quote in one of the Gita's and it says, happiness belongs to that supremely lazy in individual for whom even blinking is too much effort. It very much goes against the cultural burden in the West of doing, efforting, striving, working hard, being busy, trying to achieve and attain. Be 
yet happiness belongs to that supremely lazy individual for whom even blinking is too much of an effort. And see if you can let yourself be lazy, effortless, loose, spacious in your body, the belly floppy, heart open, shoulders, jaw drawing down. No need to fight gravity here now, just for this small half hour. And see if you can compare some of the, the parts of you that might be efforting, thinking, planning, meaning making. See if you can compare that to the effortlessness of your heartbeat. The effortlessness of the breath. Who is beating your heart? Is there someone in the back engine room currently furiously beating your heart for you? Or does the heart just do what the heart is meant to do effortlessly? You can compare the activity of the thinking parts of the psyche and the quiet beating of the heart. And you could compare the heart to what in Taoism is Wu Wei, this effortless action.
for when you fall asleep at night time. The heart carries on. The breath breathes, the heart beats. And so if we don't interfere with the wisdom of the heart, the wisdom of the body, it effortlessly gives, it gives life. And so often our parts with their fears and worries, they can affect the heartbeat. We may get short of breath. And when we do notice that we're somehow interfering with the natural effortlessness of our body, that's a signal to come back to presence. Basically, to stop getting in your own way. Breath and the heart, really fantastic markers for how present we are. any moment in time we can be curious about where we're holding tension, where we're bracing, 
where we're holding armor, where we're stopping the natural flow of life, of prana, of chi, of self energy. And see if you can open up more to self energy. And if you are noticing that there's an increasing capacity in you to really bathe in self-energy and that glow of self-energy, notice if it feels joyful, delightful, nourishing, sweet, even decadent. Yes, feasting on your own beingness, your own presence. You feel satiated in this moment. Just simply through being present. Can that be enough? Do you get a sense that you are enough? You have enough and you do enough.
I am enough. I have enough. I do enough. And then just flow. And let the heart, let the breath, let the rhythm of self sustain you, nourish you. You are enough, you do enough, you have enough. Hmm. In this moment, See if you can be satiated in your own sense of enoughness. And perhaps you can sense that in presence, this is the truth, that in presence you are enough. And this state isn't about attempting to escape anything at all. You won't suddenly be rich. Your body aches won't suddenly leave. But in presence, All of that will be seen through self's vision, 
clarity, curiosity, perspective, patience, presence, ah, playfulness. That rascal playfulness. Yes, see if you can let this presence be playful. This isn't a sterile, solemn, serious thing. Let it be playful. All the teachers, all the best teachers I have known, have always had that quality of irreducible rascality, irreducible playfulness. You see it in their eyes. And that's what children, that is the quality of the innocent, playful child. You look into their eyes and it's just sheer delight. Let me play once more. Though the body aches. Can there still be playfulness here? That little twinkle in the eye. Spark of all gratitude. Maybe the parts of yourself that are hard working, they're working hard to keep you safe. Maybe they would like playfulness now too. Maybe they could take a break and rest in playfulness. Exploring the forest, diving into a cool, fresh sea, swinging in the hammock, Be 
the inner laws of physics are such that it's possible for you to give that to your parts. In consciousness, everything is possible. So, as we come to the end of this meditation, just see if you can take a final snapshot, see if you can bookmark the feeling of self-energy coursing through you, through the body through the breath, the heart, effortlessly giving life to you. Feeding, nourishing. See if you can bookmark even the smallest amount of feeling satiated, feeling enough. This is a place you can always return to. So see if you can begin to take more conscious breaths into the body. Signaling to your inner world that there's a transition here. The parts can carry on resting. If they wish. And playing. But for the moment, see how it feels to invite some movement into your body. Invite noticing the space that you're in, orient yourself around where you are now. Thank you so much for joining me.